Welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Friday, where we look at complex legal and compliance issues in a simple to do way. This series is brought to you by Ilagan, your partner and provider of end to end business services. Hi, welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Fridays, where we take care of various complex uh, legal and tax related issues in a simple manner. Today, we will look at director identification number. Any person who, all, who is already a director or who wants to be a director should have something called DIN, that is Director Identification Number. A DIN essentially contains a lot of details like your full name, uh, your father's name, date of birth, PAN card, passport, email address, your current and permanent address. These are the some details and even your photograph. So why DIN? Since director is a responsible position, it comes with a lot of ownership, responsibility and authority. The government decided that there should be a separate database where you can track each and every person's every detail so that in case of any important communication or any uh, anything that needs to be communicated can be properly done. So that's why they came out with the idea of a DIN database where all the director who is either a director or is trying to be a director has to first get a DIN and then only they can be a director in the company. It's easy to get a DIN, you should contact a chartered accountant or you can contact us to uh, get a DIN number. Uh, one person, one DIN. This is very important since this is a unique identification number. You should not have multiple DINs. If you already have couple of DINs with you, it is strongly advisable or it's re recommended that you surrender rest of the DIN and just continue to have only one DIN. Remember, you can be a director in number of companies, either a private limited or a LLP with just one DIN because it is a person dependent number. It is not on the company's dependent number. So you can be a director in multiple companies, but you need not have multiple DINs for it. So this is very important and uh, you should also keep all your details updated. For example, if you have changed your address when you had taken DIN last time, or if there is a change in your email address or any new license or PAN card or any details like many time our uh, clients comes and says ki they have changed their uh, citizenship like they have been in India then they have moved to US they got a new citizenship so all those details should be properly updated uh, for any changes and the DIN database should be kept updated it's important so that any important communication that the government wish to communicate to directors can be easily reached to you. So make sure your DIN details are updated. If it is not, you can again contact your chartered accountant or you can get in touch with us uh, for making those changes. It's simple to do, but as well as it is very important to do at the same time. So that's all on DIN identification number, that is director identification number. Um, for any other queries you have, you can always contact us at support at ilagan.com or you can check out our knowledge base at ilagan.com oblique cable. Thank you.